So Hitchcock goes to Selznick and says, hey, I got this fantastic book I want to make a movie out of. It's called Rebecca. And Seltz goes, great, who do you want for Rebecca? And Hitch says, no one. Uh, it's about this guy, marries a girl, takes her back to his big old house, and all anyone can talk about is his first wife, Rebecca, who's dead. And Selznick goes, whoa, 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 she's dead? Listen up, you limey bastard. You're in Hollywood now. And in Hollywood, you go see a film called Rebecca, there better be a dame called Rebecca in it. Got it? And, you know, Selznick was the money, so first cut, we did it his way. Last night, I dreamt I went to Mandalay for the first time. So, here we are, darling. Mandalay. Oh, why, Max, it's everything I hoped it would be. You know, we simply must hold the most wonderful party. Well, well... Well, Maxim, whatever is it? Are you unhappy? No, Rebecca, it's nothing. I... I was just wondering what my second wife is going to be like. <laughs> I bet she'll want to hold a party, too. Mrs. Danvers, may I ask you something? Of course, madam. Mrs. Danvers, I... I should like to see the East Wing. Oh, I'm afraid that's quite impossible, madam. The master is keeping that wing just as it is for the second Mrs. De Winter. Oh, well, surely in the meantime he wouldn't mind me... No, madam. No one ever goes in there. Yet. Mrs. Danvers, I must insist. But it's Mrs. De Winter's wing. I am Mrs. De Winter for now. <laughs> oh, Maxim, I wish you could have come to the boat and lake today. It was perfectly lovely. Max, you're not even listening to me. I'm sorry, dear. I was thinking about a time when we'll be playing tennis. How, how she will love tennis. So that's why I'm not allowed on the court. I'm surprised you didn't keep the boating lake for her as well. Oh, no. We'll never use the lake once you're gone. She'll find it too upsetting. Besides, people will say it's haunted. change out of that thing. I don't understand. It's only the dress and the portrait. The portrait of the second Mrs. De Winter. <sighs> you knew. You knew that this is the dress you wanted the second Mrs. De Winter to wear. Of course I knew. Because it's about time you learnt that you won't be able to hold a candle to her, I shouldn't think. Just look at her room. Isn't it beautiful? Look at her clothes. Aren't they wonderful? This is her garden party dress if she's a size 8. And here it is if she's a size 10. And here it is if she's a size 12. You know, Max, I think I could bear this, all of it. If only I knew that once you were with her, you'd be happy. Will you, Max? Will you be happy? Or will there be a third Mrs. De Winter? Oh, yes. That's who I'm keeping the other mansion for. <laughs> <laughs> 